In this video, I'm going to share with you how to get started as a DJ and perform your first mixes. Here we're using the Pioneer DDJ Flex 4, one of the most popular entry level controllers and I'm guessing you might own this controller if you're watching this video. This controller works with both Rekordbox and Serato DJ software and for this tutorial we're using the primary software which is Rekordbox. If you want to follow along step by step, we provide all the music that's used in this video via our Crossfader music pack. This is a free download that can be sent to your email address. Just click the link to sign up. Once you've downloaded this, you can continue with the lesson where we're going to go over the basics of the equipment, the basics of the software, and then start performing your first transitions. The Recordbox DJ software allows you to prepare your music ready to mix with. It also allows you to create playlists and then export those playlists if you choose to a USB drive to use on Pioneer DJ's club range of equipment. This is a great software because it maps out perfectly to this Pioneer DDJ Flex 4. We have a deep dive getting started with Recordbox video that you can check out if you want to really get stuck in to the Recordbox software. But I'm going to go over some of the basics you need to know before touching, touching your equipment. First of all, this section here is where all of our music will be stored. The music can be dragged and dropped into Recordbox. On the left hand side is our tree view and you'll notice here we have loads of playlists available. You can toggle this open and closed. You'll also find your streaming integrations down the left hand side as well, such as Beatport and Beat Source. The collection is all of your music, but for this tutorial we've made a folder and a playlist specifically for the Crossfader Music Pack. In there, we're using two tracks, which is Lawrence James, Good Time, and Zesto, Where You Move. These are loaded onto the left and right decks, as you can see by this section and this section of the software. Right at the top, we have the waveforms. The waveforms are just a visual representation of the music. If we hit play, you'll see the waveform scrolls across the screen. The waveform visually represents the different sounds in the music, such as the kick drums, or the bass, or the melody, or the vocals. This can be really helpful when starting to, to DJ because we have something to look at to see what's happening on the music. You also have the overview waveform which runs across here, so you can see the entirety of the song and scroll through it using your mouse as well. Check out our extra video to learn more about making playlists, record box settings, and some useful features within the software. Understanding the hardware is really important. All DJ equipment has a set of two decks, which you can find here and here, with a mixer section sandwiched in between. The mixer allows you to blend from deck one to deck two and back again seamlessly. On the mixer, we have these called line faders. These are volume controls, allowing you to bring the volume of decks one and two up and down. You also have a crossfader, which allows you to blend from the left side to the right side. Both can be used for mixing in and out. For this tutorial, we're going to leave the crossfader in the center and use the up faders to blend in and out. Above, we have EQs, which allow us to take more control of the sound of the music and blend different elements of the music together. You also have your master level here, which you'll need to have turned up to hear the sound out of your master speakers. Speakers can be plugged in on the back of the unit via an RCA cable, which is usually a red and white cable, which then goes to some powered speakers. If you don't have any speakers, you can simply click this icon on the Recordbox software, and that will send the audio out of your laptop speakers. At this stage, we want to make sure the mixer looks similar to this. In particular, this section in the middle with the crossfader in the center, the, both of the line faders up and then all of these settings all at 12 o'clock with the trim you can bring a little bit below 12 o'clock. The master level is up to you depending on how loud you want to play it in your environment. The deck section has lots of features available but the main ones we want to focus on are the cue and the play buttons. A play button sets the song off. When the song is playing we want to then be able to go back to the start of the song to cue it back up to find the right point to mix. This is where we would press the cue button. This takes us back to what we call a cue point. If we hold the cue button, it will play the track from that point until we release when it jumps back. If we want to continue playing, we can hold cue, press play, and the song will continue to play. Just remember, start, stop, start, stop. The jog wheel allows us to temporarily speed the song up or slow it down. If a song is playing and we go clockwise, we can speed the song up. If I do this quite fast, we might be able to hear the song gets faster. When I stop adjusting, it goes back to its original speed. 
The speed of a song is determined by its BPM, which is beats per minute. And you can see that displayed on the software both here and here for each deck. This song is at 126 beats per minute, which means there'll be 126 beats within one minute of time. If we want to change the speed of a song, we can use the tempo adjust, which is located here. And if we come down towards the plus icon, you'll notice on the screen that the tempo gets faster or go to the minus icon, it gets slower. So we can change the BPM, the speed of the song using the tempo adjust. Have a listen. I would recommend as a beginner DJ that you turn on this MT which is called Master Tempo and this will lock the key of the song. I would also recommend having this setting here if we click on plus or minus 6 or plus or minus 10. If you find that you've got this on wide you'll notice the track gets very fast and very slow. So I'd recommend leaving this on plus and minus 10. When a song is playing, we want to try and avoid something called redlining. This is where the song is playing louder than it should be. This might happen if you have your trim control turned really loud. Therefore, bring it down so that it's just sat within the oranges. Headphones are extremely useful for DJs. Once you've got yourself a set of headphones, they plug in via the eighth inch jack on the front of the unit. Then to control the headphones, we can use some of the features on top of the mixer. Our headphone level is this knob here. We then have our headphone activation switches, which are the Q buttons here and here. And we also have a master Q button up there. The master Q will allow you to blend what's in the mixer section to the master section using this headphone mix. Now I'd recommend to start with turning all of these off the song we're going to mix in, you would then have queued up in your headphones, allowing you to preview that song and listen to it. By having this activated and the volume up, you can hear this song, but the audience can't because they can only hear what's coming out of the master. And that's whatever is playing up at the top here. You can switch between these and you could have both on and put both headphones on your ears to listen to what both tracks would sound like together. If one track sounds louder than the other and you want to balance between the two, you can turn off this headphone cue, put on the master cue and blend the master in using this control here. For now, we're just going to keep it set up like this. The songs that are best to learn to DJ with and practice with are those with very obvious structures. You'll find a lot of these songs have an intro and an outro section, and these can be used in conjunction with each other to blend from one song to another. There are also sections within the song, such as a build-up, or a breakdown, or a drop. These all play into the structure of the music, and you will find that most of these sections are about the same length in beats and bars. This is something we cover more in our online DJ courses. To mix between these two tracks, we're going to make sure that the BPMs are set the same. Using the tempo adjust, we've got this one set to 126 BPM. And then if we move the other tempo adjust, make sure that is also set to 126 BPM. Then we need to try and catch the timing right and set this track off in time. We would count along in fours and we're going to use the last section of Where You Move to mix the next track in. So we'd swap the faders over, Where You Move is going to be out loud. We'd then swap the headphone cues over and put the headphones on our head. I like to have one ear listening to the music out loud and one ear listening to the music in the headphones. Then we're going to count in fours up to the drop of the music. Let's go. One, two, three, four. 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 Play. In the headphones, we then need to use the jog wheel to correct any timing issues where we might have pressed play ever so slightly wrong. Then, as the track's about to change, we're going to fade and fade it in. Now we have both tracks playing in the mix. The left hand side is about to change and break down, therefore let's get rid of the right. And it's like I miss you more each day, yeah. This is a very simple blended mix using the up faders to transition from one song to another. Choosing where to mix usually happens with the changes of the music, and this comes down to the phrasing in the music, something covered in depth within our DDJ Flex 4 course. Now, let's do that one more time, but this time we're going to use the low EQ and we're going to take away some of the low EQ because that will clean up the mix ever so slightly. Oh 
Now I'm ready to mix, I'm going to take the low EQ out of the track I'm about to mix in. I'll then start fading it in. Now let's swap the low EQs over slowly. And then let's fade out. And it's like I miss you more each day, yeah. That would be the most basic mix that you could practice, and I would recommend practicing, the, practicing this over and over with some of the tracks that we provided within the Crossfader Music Pack. This is just the beginning. There's so much more to learn, and within our DGJ Flex 4 course, you'll master all of the essential skills, from learning how to beat match and get your timing right, to then using the EQs and creating seamless blends and mixes, as well as using some of the smart features like smart color effects and smart fader to transition between genres. You can check it all out inside our DGJ Flex 4 course, if you want to check out the course, just click the link for a free lesson from inside and access to the Crossfader Music Pack. Let's have a listen to how we can level up this transition even further and what the possibilities are. Hopefully we'll see you inside the course. Please remember to drop a comment below and give this a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like this. I'll see you again soon.